Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you HJ, welcome to my channel. And for today's video, I'm doing a mystery unboxing. So this wasn't going to be the video I was going to film today because Nikki DeMar and Demi Lovato both have songs out. I still may film that today, so you may get two videos. Who knows? Keep an eye out on my channel. That was bad. Why did I just do that? I used to do a lot of unboxings on this channel if you're new and you're just joining us. Hi. Um, yeah, I have a playlist. It's a Geek Gear playlist. I used to get Geek Gear boxes every two months and they would come with all this really cool Harry Potter themed stuff like this sort of stuff that you're seeing behind me. I have redone my wall and I have redone my shelving so hit the like button if you want me to do a new shelf tour. I miss doing unboxings but sadly Geek Gear no longer do their boxes. I can't really afford to get like Lipjoy boxes and all that. They come from America and they have to ship them as expensive. So I was having a look around on Depop and this seller was selling a box that would be filled with Lipjoy stuff Geek Gear stuff and some other wizarding items so I thought okay why not let's give it a go. So I have it here with me and as I unboxed it there's a wand on top and the rest of it comes in this lovely loot crate box. I don't know what's in here, I don't know what wand it is so if you want to see what I get in this mystery unboxing feel free to stick around, hit the like button, feel free to subscribe and without further ado. So I'm going to start off with the wand since it's on top and I, I'm hoping it's not one that I've got already. Um, the box is a bit squished but I don't mind it. I, I don't really keep these boxes anyway. So um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek first. I won't look. What wand have we got? Ooh, right now the, they normally come with a card. These normally used to. Obviously they've not put the card in or I don't know if they don't have it anymore. But oh, okay. Um... On first inspection of this wand, like you can see that it's meant to be like a claw or something holding this. Um, it's not very well done. This obviously this is the geek gear, it's not the person who designed this, so I'm not blaming them. But it's just all the claws are are different in height, kind of reptilian scales are quite decent, and then you go down and you've got like some little loops and then this little bobble, and it's just like a straight one. I mean, it's it's nice to add another one, not that I need any more ones. I don't mind it, it's just that annoys me. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, one of them is shorter than the other one. Okay, so now let's try and get into this uh, bad boy, because I don't even know what's in here either. They did ask me what my Hogwarts house was, so there might be a Ravenclaw themed thing in here. So I will shut my eyes and give you guys a sneak peek first. You guys can see, I don't know. Oh, there's tissue paper on top, okay. Oh, and a little thank you note. Oh, the card thing's in here. Hey, hey, it's in here. Oh, it's Dra Draco Pest, D-R-A-C-O, like Draco, but I think it's Draco for dragon, maybe. P-E-S, the length is 13 and a half. Course, <gasps> the core is an Okami feather, right? This, I love this one now already. <laughs> like, I love Okami, it's one of my favorite Fantastic Beasts. And um, the wood type is dark wood. I love that she, they included this. Oh, and I got a little note. Hi, Jay, thank you for buying from Bookish Flames. That's the name of the shop on Depop. I hope you love the mystery box and that it arrived safely. Thanks again and enjoy. Asha, bookish flames. Oh, that's cute. So we've got... <gasps> I've just seen what the t-shirt is and I absolutely love it already. Um, please say it'll fit me. What size is it? It's medium. Okay, that might fit me. Um, well, we'll see. I think it should. Just a plain black t-shirt, but look at the pocket. It's got Luna's wand in it, her spectra specs. The little cork necklace she wears to keep away the nargles and her little lost list i have a proper replica of that it's so cute i love plain black t-shirts and my like little things like that because then it truly tests to see if you're a high part person or not oh there's another t-shirt we have the swedish short snout on just a plain black t-shirt i like the pastel colors of it pink and blue go quite nice together for some reason i like that right so far two t-shirts the wand got boosted up a bit because it's Okami core, so. Okay, so we've got that much left in here. Little burn envelope, I wonder what's in here. Oh, I think it's a bookmark, that's nice. So you've got, I think that's supposed to be Bellatrix on this side, it's really cool. And I think that's supposed to be Snape and Narcissa doing the Unbreakable Vow. That's really cool. It's quite a sturdy bookmark, still got a bit bend in it, but it's not too bad. I like that actually. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, I know what these are. These are like bookmarks again, like, um, I'm not gonna say metallic, not metallic. The ones that you can stick on the page and it'll mark it through the thing and it connects to, in the book. We have Dumbledore, little 
Fox there. Snape. And Ariana Dumbledore. We don't see much stuff with her on. I thought that was Luna for a second. I went, no, that's not Luna. They're like magnets. So they connect through the page and clip like that together. So they go like this. Oh, you have a pin. I always like Lit Joy pins. And I, I don't really collect pins just because I um don't really know what to do with them. Uh, but I had seen Cherry Wallace's new video where she puts her pins on cork boards. I thought that was quite cute. But it's the pensive and it actually moves. Which is funny because I've got like a little pensive thing up there on one of my shelves. So I might stick it in there, see if it fits. Just spins. That's quite cute. Into the, yeah, into the pensive. It says around the outside and there's Dumbledore's wand, the Elder Wand. That is actually a really nice pin. I love that. I do see pins and think, oh, I'd like to collect them, but I know I wouldn't use them unless I would sit them on a cork board. Should I start collecting pins? There's still loads in here. Look, there's like a ton of boxes. I think some of these are chess pieces. This is the box I'm opening now. Ooh, right, okay. I've got something, I've got something similar to that. It's bigger and I it's white instead of black, but I did get it from a geek box and it's heavier. This is, feels more plastic -y. Well, that one is very breakable that I have, but they're nice for like display purposes. Like I kind of have a, shelf now that's kind of almost dedicated to Philosopher's Stone. I suppose that could go on that shelf. It's really nice. I mean, it's nice that it's kind of plastic and it's not going to break, whereas the one I had, I keep it well away from the edge of the shelves. This one, I don't know, did they want to get rid of all their chess pieces? Because I'm going to end up with a whole chess set. I don't mind it because I love these. Like, I would love to have the, the proper chess set, but that would cost me a fortune. Is that like the knight? Really nice detail though for it being quite plastic. Not like uh, I say plasticky, but like the detail is still nice. And it's not like oh well, the shield's quite bendable actually. Go be careful. You know it's like quite hollow. And it looks quite plasticky, but I don't mind that because it's better than having ones that will break if you drop them. There you go. I I don't know why these like I'm looking at these and I'm thinking Alice in Wonderland. Is anyone getting that sort of vibe from? Oh, I think we've got the we've got the queen. Yeah, we have the queen. Or is it the king? It's either the queen or the king. Let me know which one it is. I think it's the queen. I love how they're all the same color. I wouldn't mind, obviously, if they were a mix of the black and white because you could station them either side and it'd be quite cool to look like you're actually going to play a chess match, but I don't mind that they're all the same color. I think we've got a little pawn in this one. Here he is. I always like the design of these, like when I go to the studio tour, I love just standing and looking at the big version of them and how they made them is absolutely unreal. I don't know what that is, a rook? Yeah, is that a rook? I don't remember this one, to be fair. This looks quite funny. That just looks hilarious, the way he's standing. Well, this one's heavy. We've got a proper one here. Look at that. That the queen where he goes, queen to e5. And she just goes, Ch -ch poof. She's heavy, like lovely detail as well. Like even just the carving inside in there and then on the back. Wow, absolutely love that. I'm gonna have to display all these on my uh, new shelf. I swear. Oh, it's so cute. I wonder if these, do these work? I don't think they would work, but apparently the ones you get in the tour not do work, but these are like made out of like a clay material. So I imagine if you drop them, they'd be gone. Um, But I've kind of got a new bit on the top of my shelves as well. And I've got a little Weasley's Wizards Weezer section going on, so. These will definitely be going onto them. And I love how they have the string. It's so cute. I think there's one more thing in here. I've seen this before. This is a puzzle of when Harry and Hermione go to Godric's Hollow. And then in the books that you don't see in the film, there's a statue that only the wizards can see of James and Lily holding Harry as a baby. The muggles can't see it, but wizards can. And it's really cute. 250 piece puzzle. You can always do that and frame it. It would look nice around Christmas. I probably will keep it and do it, to be fair. I need to start doing more things that make my brain active. I did my Lego set the other day. I built Green Goat's Bank. If you've not seen that, check my shorts out. 
Yeah, so I might keep it and do that. So that's it in the box. So I'm going to go through everything again and I'll see if I think what I paid for it was worth it. A puzzle. One, two, three. That's the heavy one. Four, five, six chess pieces. One of them being the very heavy one that Geek Gear made the replica of the rock one that Ron played with. Weasley's Wizards Weasley's extendable ears. Draco Pez wand, card included, two t-shirts. Ask me what my house was. And then she put the Luna t-shirt in there to represent Ravenclaw, but they did ask me what my house was. And I've not seen a Ravenclaw item in here. So I think overall, I don't mind what I paid for it. Um, I wish there wasn't so many chess pieces now looking at it. Um, I think having some other things would have been nice. I don't know if they just want to get rid of their collection. <laughs> I think it kind of looks like they wanted to get rid of their chess pieces for some strange reason. Um, so having about six, I could have gotten maybe two and got five other items if they had it. So I'm not really sure what they had. They didn't really say. Um, I do love the Luna t-shirt. If it fits me, I will absolutely adore it. I love the, that I have uh, the extendable ears um, because I love the Weasley twins. And I do like the um, proper chess piece that I got. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've received. What do you, you guys think? Do you guys think this box was good or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, remember to like the video, remember to subscribe and keep an eye out. I might be uploading two videos. I might pre-film loads, who knows? Um, but I will see you guys in another video. Bye.